abducted oh. by aliens. <laughs> it's really neat. I've lived almost all my life on, we had a cattle property out in the far west of Queensland in the arid zone. So this is a really new experience living up in the rainforest and there's so many new plants and animals up here. And to find Australia, potentially Australia's biggest insect, heaviest insect is just a really neat experience. And to be involved in describing it scientifically, it's just, yes, it's great for the Atherton Tablelands, but just personally for myself, it's great to be involved in it. And he eventually found one up in the rainforest. It was a fair way up. So these things live in high altitude rainforest. So they live sort of 900 metres upwards, up to about 1,200 metres in the southern end of the tablelands. And they live high up in the canopy. And that part of the tablelands is often enveloped in mist and rain. And because they're so high up, they're very, very hard to find. We don't know. There's a lot of work to be done. We don't even know what the male of the species looks like yet. We've only found the two females. But one of the reasons, that just conjecture on our part, but where it lives high in the forest at high altitude, it's cool and misty, and the greater body size might help it deal with those conditions better, maybe. But, but they're an indicator of ecosystem health. And if we want to... As a human race, if we're just going to be totally selfish and talk about us as humans, if we want to survive into the future, we need sustainable ecosystems to provide clean air, clean water, and all those other resources, and also the ability to farm and grow food. And if our ecosystems are collapsing through our actions, we need to change our actions if we actually want our kids and grandkids to have a future. So.